Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing the two week update of my Rolling Bath and Body Works project pan video project year long thing that I've been doing for the last, this is going to be the third year that I've done this project which I have really enjoyed and I have a lot of progress to show you guys, even an item that has been finished up. So. If you're not following me yet, hi, my name is Renee. I do a lot of beauty videos and a lot of Bath and Body Works videos slash reducing that stash because I was slash still kind of am a little bit of an addict. But with all of these ridiculous price increases, I'm starting to become less and less interested in Bath and Body Works. Let's go ahead and jump into the progress of my items. So the first thing I finished, you might have seen this coming, is the Winter Candy Apple Hand Cream. And I just hear a roommate coming in. Hello? Not on my side of the apartment. <laughs> um, so, the Winter Candy Apple Hand Cream, it only had about half of the container left. So it was really easy to use up, especially because it's so dry where I live, even though I live in California. Is this way too bright? I don't know if that made a difference. Um, so because where I live in California, we just don't get a lot of like humidity and stuff. Um, I get really dry, sleep with a humidifier on everything to help my skin and go through a lot of hand cream. So I really went through this really quick. As you can see, cut it open. I don't really buy the hand creams myself. So unless they're like a dollar at the semi-annual sale, they're usually gifted, but this was gifted and yeah when winter candy apple bites the dust. Keeping up with the winter candy apple theme, we're going to talk about the winter candy apple body lotion. As you can see, I've used quite a bit up. This is where I started using it and this is where I am now. This is a little bit over halfway done. I imagine this will have like a week and a half use left realistically and I've just been using it strictly on my legs. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent formulation that they've been doing lately with the body lotions, it just doesn't smell as good as they used to. There's some scents that, you know, still hit the mark for me, but there's a lot of them that don't. And Winter Candy Apple is unfortunately a victim of what Bath & Body Works has been doing in HQ. Um, so yeah, I debated whether I wanted to put another one in that I have, but I think I'm going to switch it up just so you guys don't see as much Winter Candy Apple. Um, and we'll talk about what I'm adding in a little bit later, but yeah, this should be done by the next update realistically, which is like kind of crazy. As you can see, I used up a fair amount of lotion because I don't want to be dry because dry leads to wrinkles or like premature aging. It just does. If you do it for your face, why aren't you doing it for your body? But I don't want to go through this many lotions, like bottles. So yes, we're on that journey together. And this is probably where you're going to see that transformation of probably halfway through the year where I start to find alternatives to just constantly using up as many as I do. The next lotion that I've been working on is Lovely Dreamer Body Cream and I know I said it just wasn't special and that was my opinion. I know a lot of you guys love Lovely Dreamer and the thing is though, I had Lovely Dreamer before I believe and when I first picked it up it did have a lovely scent light lovely floral scent but this one just doesn't have a scent anymore and that's why i kind of don't remember what it used to smell like so it's not my favorite but if it's your favorite totally understand and i'm i'm glad you like it it is a little bit harder to measure the amount of product that there is in the bottle just because like you can't really see through it but i'd say there's about halfway left so again this is probably going to take me the same amount of time maybe a little bit less because i do use a lot less of the body cream than I do with the body lotion just because it's thicker and more moisturizing for my arms but um, it might be almost gone if not gone by the next update um, love the packaging though I think this is beautiful love the light blue and the um, the pinky gold and a lot of you guys said that it does come back during the summer semi-annual sale which is I believe where I found it to begin with but um, yeah so since the summer one is coming and you love this scent keep your eye out because it might come back the scent that I'm going to add in, or the lotion in replacement of whatever one of these two run out, is going to be Picnic Summer Daisies. This came out some semi on your sale ago, and the notes are crisp pear, summer daisies, a honeysuckle, and fresh nectarine. 
This one has a little bit more of a scent than the, my current Lovely Dreamer one does, so it'll be a good scent to get into the springtime since it is daisies and spring and flowers are a thing that go together. And it smells good. Again, something where I'm still wearing long sleeves and the scent isn't really going to protrude that much because it is a light floral scent. Um, and that's what I tend to go to and stick to when I'm wearing like sweaters and stuff just because I feel like heavily scented creams I like to use more in the summertime or in the fall time when like my arms are exposed and you can smell more of me <laughs> than maybe someone would like. But this is the next one I'm going to be including. And I just love the purple um, daisy packaging. It's just so cute and it'll be cute to look at all the time. Moving on to the last two items that I have are going to be the fun sized. I said it again, didn't I? I said fun size. The travel size fine fragrance mist. I think it's because it's fine and then fun and then fragrance, like fun fragrance mist instead of fine fragrance mist. Does that make any sense? Probably not. So the first one that I have here is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Um, it's not my favorite. I'm not the biggest fan of like the fall scents that come out year round. There is like the occasional few that I do get obsessed with, but usually like the marshmallow and the pumpkin, like that, the way that it translates into like the body care, it's not quite my favorite. I do tend to enjoy it a little bit more in home fragrance and in hand soaps, but for the body care, I just feel like it's not, it's not the same. Plus, I don't know. I associate this more with like your home smelling like this, not like your body. But hey, I know some people love this and that's that's fine. Um, but the way that I've been using this up is just using it as a room spray. Um, I'm not going to use it as a bathroom spray because I have an actual room spray in the bathroom spray and it's like... So I've just been like spraying it on my clothes, spraying it on my bed like before I make it in the morning. And I've used up a fair amount. So as you can see, this is where I was. Um last or at the intro I was gonna say last week but it wasn't last week and this is where I am now so as you can see I've used up more than I used up in this project that I did last year than just using it on my body so this is gonna be the way to go to finish it and I'm just really excited that it's getting used up like I still smell good my room smells good and it's not going completely to waste um, and again it'll be one less thing out of my collection that I know not to buy so I stick away from to reduce that like future waste if that makes any sense it makes sense in here and that really hurt the first time I did it last but not least we have the other winter candy apple fine fragrance mist again in travel size and because this is my oldest one I do want to get this out of my collection just because the scent isn't as potent as winter candy apple should be and I know this because I am a winter candy apple expert. Hello. I should just wear like a button that says like winter candy apple expert. Oh my god. That would be so... I'm not saying that I would never come out with merch. But I'm like... <laughs> that would be my thing. It would be like the winter candy apple expert. Just the button. And I would wear it every time I make a Bath and Body Works video. I'm like, hello, ask me about winter candy apple. Um, so I made a lot of progress in this. More progress than I can say for like any of this size bottle that I've ever used. Even more than my full size winter candy apple. And I think that's mostly because I literally spray myself every time I leave my apartment to go to class. Um, or to go to dinner with my roommates. So, it's gotten a lot of love. I wouldn't be surprised if this also got used up by my next update, which would be awesome. So... Yeah, we're down to there, and if I use up, again, the same amount, that means it would be gone. And that would be amazing, and that means I can work on my full-size winter candy apple that I have here. Or a different spray if I want to get into, like, spring and get out of the little winter, winter candy apple thing that... You know what I mean, right? Also, this picture behind me is just going to be, like, or, like, this wall behind me. As you can see, I have added... The cactus painting and yet another cactus painting that like looks a little more abstract i i don't know if i want this to be my cactus wall just as the background i think it's a little like there's more things for you to look at than just the plain before background that i had i mean it's hard because 
it's a dorm apartment so you're not really or I don't know I just didn't want to spend like money on decor really when that's just my opinion I didn't really want to spend that much money on decor so a lot of the decor in my room is actually DIY <laughs> that I paid my I painted myself in certain things but like I brought my Polaroid printer and I might start putting like Polaroid pictures up just so I have more background but yeah let me know how you feel about like now that there's something else to look like in the or to look at in the background do you like that do you not like it let me know because we're gonna slowly add more as the semester goes even though I'm gonna have to take it all off at the end of the semester but I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening morning day whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys all in my next video